1,000 subscribers. It took me a little over five years, or almost ten years if you want to be more technical, but I finally did it. I finally fucking did it. I'm, I, and I can't be more thankful that it's happened. And this is only just the beginning, you know. I've made it this far. We're going to keep on going. And I can't thank all of you enough for helping me get this far and all the support and everything and all the, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, thank you guys so much for that. I really, you know, am proud of myself with all that I've accomplished and how much I've improved with my content, all the different kinds of avenues I've taken with what I've done and and everything and I'm just glad that it's paid off with you know you guys you know liking my stuff obviously not everything is as successful as as other videos and music what things but you know people at the very least still show that they like them even if it's just only like two or three people in the comments or whatnot or on discord or on twitter or whatnot uh, and, you know, it was, uh, it was about, like, four years ago, almost to the day that I ended up reaching this milestone that, f about four years ago, I reached 100 subscribers. Actually, um, this, uh, I found that this, uh, exactly happened, that this 1,000 milestone I passed just yesterday, it was about 10 o'clock at night, and, you know, I was looking, I had known that this was going to be happening soon, because I've been, you know, eyeballing and seeing that I was just, just a few subscribers away, and it was at that moment, just last night, that I saw it finally said 1,000 subscribers, 1K subscribers on my YouTube channel, on my TubeBuddy, and, you know, I screenshot it right that, and I even announced on my Twitter, on my YouTube community posts, and on my Patreon about that, um, that I finally hit that milestone, and, and people were already quick enough to congratulate me, and I appreciate all of the messages from you guys about that, um, but for those who don't know yet, or haven't noticed already, or haven't seen those announcements, I finally did it, and I can't thank you enough, and, uh, one of the first things I did after I saw that is that I went back to the video I had made four years ago, uh, when I got a hundred subscribers, and what's crazy is that, um, like I already said, that it was also in mid-October when that happened in 2019, it was almost to the day, right now it's, when I'm filming this October 20th, 2023, it's like, that was, that video was posted October, like, 15th or 14th of 2019 so it was almost four years after that I just gained another 900 subscribers it's crazy how exponential the growth is here on YouTube uh at least in my case I can't speak for everybody obviously not everyone is as lucky um or ambitious uh yeah I went back and watched that video just to just to look back on how far I've come and just to remind myself of all the things I touched upon. And in that video, I pretty much went over uh, uh, basically my, how, like, how basically an overview of, you know, how far I've come since I started doing YouTube videos when I was about 10 years old. And yes, I had a, an account before I was 13. I didn't know you weren't supposed to, but that's already like, it's all in the past anyway. Plus, that first channel that I had is gone anyway, if you didn't already know, as I mentioned in my YouTube uh, uh, bio. But yeah, that video is just basically looking back from the start of everything up until then. So in this, I guess I'll just look back at the four year, at the, all the shit that's happened in the four years since I made that video, from late 2019 all the way into now, October of 2023, and just kind of reflect on that, because a lot has happened since then. It's Probably, it's uh, definitely a lot more to say that happened in that four years than the five years that occurred between June of 2014 and October of 2019. Uh, 
granted it was about like two like a year at that point that I was really doing shit on YouTube with my current channel but grant you know that's just how it turns out but basically yeah October 2019 was when I hit 100 that was on it was honestly perfect timing for that to happen because pretty much after that in like November or December that's when I started uh actually you know starting to make friends online like I had already been on Twitter for about two years at that point but I mainly was just on it just to get updates from my favorite YouTubers and other content creators and other you know things that I like just to see them posting about stuff and like giving updates on what they were doing and all that good stuff and you know it was a bit minimal but you know it was something but I don't remember exactly what it was at that point in late 2019, but that was a point when I just started reaching out to people, like, you know, and started, like, becoming, started actually talking to people and being more proactive with others and making friends, and that really paid off big time, I must say. Like, I got to meet so many amazing folk out there on the Twitter and make a lot of friends, and this escalated dramatically by the early stages of 2020 like a lot more people I was talking to and whatnot and uh around the time when the pandemic uh came to the United States in March of 2020 that's around the time when I had uh found out that a lot of these people on Twitter that I was making friends with were also on discord and you know hearing about them and their servers I find in like I already had a Discord account at this point. I'd actually made it in July of 2019 to message someone about some Tom Servo 3 YouTube poops that I had that I wanted to send to them to add to the archive they were making for YouTube. Um, but, you know, I w originally wasn't that interested in using Discord, mainly because I didn't exactly know what it was about. But once I started using Discord in 2020 to start talking to more of these people and understanding the things about servers and, you know, just the whole thing is like, just a whole chat room thing, but with all different things like, you know, voice calls and just, it was just a whole thing of that. Just seeing just what Discord really was, it became my new favorite thing in the world. And I was like, oh my God, this is the best thing. I wish I hadn't slept on this. This is so much fun and cool. And during the pandemic, I had a lot more time on my hands. So I was on Discord constantly. I'd say maybe a little too much, but you know, at least I didn't go crazy or, you know, become a a nut, a loon, an apricot, whatever you want to say. Um, not to mention 2020, that was the year when I finally, you know, came, finally realized that I was bi. And I made the announcement on my YouTube that, well, I technically mentioned on Twitter that I was bi. And then the day after I made that coming out video, that was definitely something, you know, definitely major thing for me and now it's been more than three almost four years since that happened crazy to think but hey you know you, you gotta love yourself man it, just as you love the world uh that was quite the thing with that and discord falling in love with that and meeting all these really cool people and making all these friends um to the point that in may of that year i decided to make my own uh my own discord server for me and my closest friends to hang out and the server is still going on and I have a lot of friends in there and and you guys in there watching this you know who you are you keep on being awesome um and but for those of you wondering this is just like a sort of not really a private thing but it's just a thing for my closest friends so it's not like a public server that I can invite you to so don't ask for any invite link it's not that kind of server it's just a thing that I do with my friends and whatnot um but yeah, like that was something. And through 2020, you know, because school was asynchronous for the remainder of my sophomore year, um, I, you know, we just did all the stuff at home and everything. I was able to do all my assignments and that gave me a hell of a lot more time for making all of the videos and that like it the spring ended up just bleeding into the summer because I was still at home and doing stuff, even though the, the pandemic, of course, was just in its early stages and we were supposed to just be at home and all the stuff was closed down and everything. Um, I that It was good for me because I had a, so much more time with 
all my videos and whatnot. In fact, from that point in March of 2020 to until September of 2021, because um, uh, when we came back for junior year, we were like, we had to stay home for like the first few months. And then uh, by February, I think, or January, I believe, that was when they started saying, okay, you can either send your kid to school or keep them at home. And originally my parents wanted me to go into the go in person but I didn't want to but for the first from like January to February that's what I did I went in person but then well I was smart and I was like screw it I'll just stay home and just miss the bus and then get on the meeting I won't be technically counted as late and it worked and my parents were like fine Andrew will stay home and that's how it was. So with the exception of that one month that I went in person, from March of 2020 to September of 2021, I was at home make a, like doing my schoolwork and making all of the videos. I had. That was the most time in my entire life until I graduated high school that I had for making videos. I was at home almost the whole, all, all the time. And I had all the time in the world to do the videos outside of, you know, doing the schoolwork, but it went a lot quicker because I never had to wait for anything. I had all my assignments. I could bang those out and have all the time of the day to do my videos. And it was quite the relieving feeling. And it was during all of that, you know, during that whole time of being able to do all that stuff that that was when I realized, you know, this is what I want to do. Like after I'm done with school, I want to keep doing these videos because, you know, I... It was something that was, you know, creative, that I found fun with, and I, you know, felt that if people liked it enough, I could, you know, make a living off of it. Obviously, there's a lot of work that goes into it, but I believe in it enough for me to be willing to take the risk on it, which, you know, is in, in these, in such a climate of today is not exactly easy, but, you know, you gotta have that tenacity, and believe me, I'm willing to have that tenacity, even if things don't work out in the beginning. And not to mention, uh, it was April of 2021. That's when I finally decided, like, decided to start doing chiptune music. Now, I had previously uh, attempted to try doing stuff with it back in 2017, or no, I think it was 20. It was like late 2017 when I tried. Yeah, late 2017 when I had previously tackled. Um, trying to do chiptune stuff, but I really didn't understand what I was doing at the time, and I kind of gave up. Plus the fact that, you know, I was using, I still had only a Mac, so I was using Wine to have Family Tracker work on my Mac. In fact, that's the same Mac I use for editing most of my videos. Um, the same old 2010 iMac that we still have and I still use for editing stuff. It still works like a charm, even if it is a bit slow. Um, but in tw April 2021, I went back and said, you know what, let's let's give it another shot. And so I did a Famicom cover of Police Story's main theme, Hero Story, because, you know, it was during 2020 and 2021 when I was on a major uh, craze with Police Story and Jackie Chan movies, uh, mostly thanks to Space Hunter M., Thank you, Pauline. You're awesome. Uh, and a bunch of other things I was crazed on at the time. Um, but yeah, I did that and I put it on my YouTube and I was like, wait a minute, that went really good. And I completed it. And from there, I was like, you know what? I can finally, I always wanted to do my own chiptune stuffs of my own. And I want to try doing that now. And it was a lot quicker than doing anything else like the YouTube poops and whatnot. And I was like, I want to keep doing this. And now it's pretty much become my main thing, which, you know, I think works very well because I've always been a music guy, like for as long as I, at, for, since at least the age of five, I've been involved with music stuff. So it's really a natural thing for me to make that my main forte because that's probably the thing I've, you know, in terms of creativity, that's what I've worked best with is the music. And now as early as this year, I'm, or just as this year started, 2023, I've started doing my own songs, and it's I'm just so happy that I've made it this far with my skills and my understanding of everything, plus the fact that we have such wonderful tools like Tracker and Tilda Arrows, Furnace. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's just simply beautiful how it all worked out so well like that. Not, and 
Not to mention, of course, um, through helping out with uh, my friend Bant and their plush series of Plushtopia plus watching plush videos from my friend Noah, aka the Classic Dreamer, I started kind of getting the inspiration of my own to try, you know, doing my own plush videos, which really escalated when in October of 2021, my dad and I went to Asbury Park for uh, to visit for Oktoberfest that year, though we ended up eating at a a fish a, a seafood restaurant because the beer garden was closed that day for like a private event, I believe. But we went to uh, the local game retro game store, Kill Screen Games, which if you've ever, if you're ever in Asbury, check it out. It's a pretty good place. Um, Kill Screen Games. They had some plushes, and I was lucky enough since I was uh, you know getting back into Pac-Man, that they had that Clyde plush right there. It was selling for $10. And I was like, oh my God, this is adorable. I want this. And I was thankfully able to convince my dad to do it. And I'm so glad that I did because that would be another catalyst. Because from there, I would uh, film a short video with Clyde spoofing a, a cat meme that you might have seen before. And then later on, I decided in December that I would try to do a video uh, that was just entirely improvised of Clyde talking to the camera about Christmas and whatnot. And for those wondering, that video is actually sort of an homage or a inspiration from one of my favorite Christmas videos, Fred on Christmas, which, you know, if you remember Fred from like the late 2000s, that was a video where Fred was, you know, talking about Christmas. Santa, and then Santa comes and gives him a karaoke machine and whatnot while he's staying with his uh, at his aunt's house while his mom is away. Um, basically, that was sort of me being inspired by that and sort of doing my own sort of take on that type of thing, but with Clyde, and it was completely improvised. And it was a cute little video I did, and from there I did a few other short videos with uh, the Clyde plush. Plus, I also got the rest of the uh, Pac-Man Ghost Monster plushes. I got the rest of them, of course, on my TV. Plus, I also got Pac-Man himself and also a Scared Ghost that's right up on... A uh, Scared Ghost Monster that's right over there on top. It's it's off camera, but you'll, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking. Not to mention, um, to help out with Bant with one part of Plushtopia, I also got the same Kirby plush that uh, they had... Um, they, I'm sorry, they, uh, to help film with one part at my own house, I basically got the same one as them and filmed it in the, uh, in my thing. And it's the same one I still have to this day. And not to mention in, uh, April of 2021, after the credits released a official plush of Bomberman, which I got right after it came out and... From there, that was when I was like, you know what? I'm going to finally do a scripted plush video. I've never done one before. I've done scripted videos with filming and everything back in 2019. I did the the uh, the remake of the Peter Wenslow video, the Home Alone video, which I named the remake by myself, plus that Christmas Nightmare video he did. I remade as well in 2019. And I've I've done stuff like that before, but this with plushes I've never done it with plushes, and with you know established characters and everything. So I finally decided to take a shot at it, and thus, uh, you know, after getting the barman plush and coming up with a scene idea on my own terms, about two months later during my final weeks of school, uh, one of the last weeks, sometime in late June, right leading up to my graduation, I wrote the script for m currently my most successful video to date, Pac-Man's Slumber Party. Now, that was, that was, uh, quite the endeavor. The video, like, it, it's not the best. I didn't, I was still obviously, you know, figuring things out for the voices and everything and the writing and how I wanted to present the characters. But, alas, I was still happy with how it turned out. It took a while to make, about two weeks to film everything and, uh, edit it all because it ended up turning out to be like about 18 minutes the whole video but you know I was pleased with how it turned out people liked it and it ended up getting more views than any other video on my channel currently it has about almost 45,000 views which 
is insane to me. And in due time, maybe by the end of this year, who knows, it might reach 50,000 views. And, you know, a lot of people who subscribe, a lot of the subscribers I got from that point going forward came, I imagine, because of that video. So any of you guys who saw that video, I, I deeply thank you for, you know, the support. And I hope you'll stick around because, you know, I do want to do more scripted plush stuff along with my music and my YouTube poops, which I still do. Even if it's not as often as I used to, I'm still trying to put them out often because I still like to make them. Uh, but yeah, it's like with that video, it was really the start of that. And then after I did a video in October, a shorter one, and from there I was like, yeah, I like doing these scripted plush things. I'm going to keep doing them. And in fact, I even got the other Kirby characters to do uh, Kirby uh, videos. Uh, besides Kirby, I have also gotten uh, Meta Knight, King DDD, Marks, and Gooey. In fact, you might have seen the recent shorter video I did with Gooey. I haven't had them in any of my scripted ones, but I do hope... I do hope to have them in one of them soon. It's going to be fun to have Gooey with that. Um, and of course, I even got Ms. Pac-Man, a plush of her, for my Christmas special that I did to round off 2022. And that that was, you know, it was quite a lot of work, but it's, it turned out well in the end. And I'm glad that it paid off well. People really liked it. And it was a nice thing to cap off the year. And to tread back a bit, uh, right after I, you know, I finished the script, and then I graduated high school. I finally finished with school, and I said, I don't want to go to college. It's not for me. I don't have anything that will require a bachelor's degree or anything like that. I want to continue with the YouTube. So we're starting a Patreon, because I turned 18 in 2022, so I was legally now allowed to earn money on Patreon. So I made the Patreon right after graduating, a few days after I graduated, and I started doing that. Currently, I only have five patrons donating to me, and I have only made, you I only currently make about 35 bucks a month, which is definitely far less than the minimum wage, but, you know, I know that if I keep going with this, and I keep building my following, and enough people are inclined to do this, then I'll be able to get more. Plus, I can get money from other outlets like merchandise if I decide to take that. There are different options for this sort of thing, but, you know, uh, yeah, uh, if you want to support me uh, financially, you can, uh, my Patreon, you can check it out. It's $5 a month US, and you get the name shout outs either in the description or at the end of videos, depending on what kind of video it is. And if it's a music upload, it'll go in the description. Um, yeah, that's that's the whole accolade with that. Uh, it's not mandatory. I'm not locking anything behind it. But if you do want to do that, you can do it through Patreon. And I greatly appreciate it. Um, and well, you know, like I said, 2023, it started and I finally decided to do my own original music. I had been pondering the idea throughout 2020 and even came up with a few things, some of which I even ended up making into songs. But it was 2023 when I finally decided to do my own original chiptune music along with the covers and I'm really happy with how those original songs are turning out, and I'm hoping to do more, and, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, any, like, that I can, like, do music for things and whatnot, it, it it's definitely gonna be interesting to do that, and I'm willing to exercise my creativity in that outlet, and through all of that, we're now at this point, I've got a thousand subscribers, I'm doing the plush videos, the YouTube poops, and mainly the music, and it's all turning out really well. I'm pleased with the overall uh, quality of my content. And, you know, people, you know, showing their support. And, you know, enjoying my things. I'm glad that everyone's enjoying it. And, you know, going forward as things go on. I'm hoping that we'll have more fun. That I'll be able to do more awesome stuff. And we just continue to grow. Because like I said earlier, this is only the beginning. 1,000 is not the end. It is merely the beginning. You could say the same about 100. But, you know, this is things where real stuff really gets started. This is where things really get started. But, yeah. I guess that's about all that I have to say on that matter. 
I want to thank every all the new all the friends I've made in the past three or four years for helping me and you know teaching me new things and whatnot and just being real awesome people. I want to thank all my fans, all my subscribers for all of the support on the channel, on the music and the videos and just towards me. I can't thank you all enough. We're now at a thousand subscribers and I'm hoping that we can do more going forward. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, um, if you're just passing by, you know, feel free to check out my stuff. And if you like it, leave the likes on the videos that you like. Hit the subscribe button, Get the hit the bell so that you get the notifications. And if you want to support me uh, monetarily, I have a Patreon. You can donate $5 a month and you'll get a name shout out on all my uploads. Um, and yeah, I'm extremely grateful to all you guys. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. Um, uh, yeah, I'm Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later.